good morning all today we are going to discuss about the very popular term in the current industrial scenario that is internet of things internet of things is nothing but a global industry movement that brings together the people process data and things to make network connections more relevant and more valuable than ever before based on the survey it is understood that by the end of 2020 it is estimated that around 4.5 billion new people and 40 billion new things will have joined the internet so think about that if such a large number of new things have been joined into the internet what about the data that are communicated over the existing network infrastructure so re really there are a lot of challenges that have to that have to be handled by the it engineers so in a nutshell ericsson estimated that by the end of 2020 there will be 50 billion connected devices which involves 4 billion connected people and 4 trillion business opportunity with nearly 25 million plus mobile and web applications with more than 25 billion embedded and other intelligent systems with more than 50 trillion gigabytes of data. So think about that anything that will be benefited from being connected will be connected in the near future. So with this introduction we will discuss about what are the major components that should be considered in an IoT. So the very basic essential thing is sensors and actuators connected to a single board systems and the communication between the end devices and the servers server and middleware platforms followed by the data analytics engine and the most important thing the web or mobile applications to make use of the existing infrastructure so with this we move on to discuss about the smart systems and iot smart systems and iot are basically driven by a combination of sensors actuators connectivity people and the process so in a nutshell if you think about sensors and actuators they are the actual the source of data so sensors will be in the input side and the actuators will be in the output side so if you take any kind of sensors the very basic things are the temperature sensors humidity moisture sensors acoustic sensors and the various gas sensing sensors the water flow or liquid flow sensors the force load torque strain pressure sensors in a smart home or a smart city applications in the case of smart water management the water leak or level sensors and in the case of smart energy management the electric utility so the sensors will be followed by connectivity imagine that the connectivity will be a local area network or a wide area network or a personal area network so there are a lot of communication technology available for example if you think about the RFID, NFC, Six Low Pan, Zigbee, Z-Wave, Bluetooth Smart, Ultra Wideband, which all comes under the personal area network for low power short range, which will be followed by the wireless fidelity Wi-Fi for the local area network and which will be followed by many wide area networks like 2G, 3G, 4G long term evolution LTE and in particular in the 4G communication technology we will also look into a cellular infrastructure based IoT communication technology for the low power wide area network which is nothing but NB IoT, narrow band IoT as well as ECGSM. So in addition to that we have to also look into the WiMAX which is defined through IEEE 802.16 and the mobile broadband wireless access 
which is defined through IEEE 802.20. So the connectivity protocol will also play a major role in the IoT. For example, we can think about Bluetooth, Zigbee, Z-Wave, Near Field Communication, RFID, Wi-Fi, 2G, 3G, WiMAX, LTE, Mobile Broadband, Wireless Access, NB-IoT, Extended Coverage, GSM, Power Line Communications, Ethernet, and a non-cellular based low power wide area network LoRa, Jigfox as well as there are few more connect communication technologies are available for IoT. So in the next session we will have a detailed discussions about the communication technology for IoT in detail and the next thing is the people and process. So we have to integrate the people, the people may be an administrators the end users, the contributors and the process that is basically the operational technology. So the process and the people bringing together into the existing IT infrastructure, we can say IT integrated with operation technology is nothing but the internet of things that is IoT. So these network inputs can then be combined into bi-directional system that integrate data, people, process and systems for better decision making. So in a nutshell, the interaction between these entities that is sensors, actuators, connectivity, people and the process are creating new types of smart applications and services. For example, if you take some popular connected devices already on the market, for example, a smart thermostat. It saves resources, money on your heating bills by adapting to your usage patterns and turning the temperature down when you are away from the home. And the next use case is connected cars, that is car to go, which will track and rent using a smartphone application car to go, that car to go handles billing, parking and insurance automatically. The third use case is called activity trackers that will continuously capture heart rate patterns, activity levels, calorie expenditure and skin temperature on your wrist by 24 bar 7 basis. And the next one is related with the energy management that is through the smart outlets provided by a popular company Belkin it will remote you can remotely turn any devices or appliance on and off you can track a device energy usage as well as receive personalized notifications through your smartphone and the last use case for today's session is called the street line that is basically based on a parking sensor using embedded street sensors user can identify real time availability of parking spaces on their phone from the city and officials can easily manage and price their resources based on the actual usage. So we have discussed about the smart thermostat, connected car, activity tracker, smart outlet and parking sensors for the typical use cases for IoT in our day to day uses. So to have a diverse applications we can think about the home based smart home based on IoT, smart transport that is smart mobility use cases, we can also think about smart health based IoT applications as well as smart buildings and smart cities. So in the smart cities we can also think about one more the big revenue based industry called industry 4.0. So smart home, smart transport, smart health, smart building smart industry and industry 4.0 are the best examples of diverse applications based on the IoT. So with this we introduce into the another three interesting use cases we will discuss one by one. Thank you.